Okay, we have a whale. What else? Uh, I don't know. You don't know this one? Yeah. Okay, this is a fly. What about the next picture to the fly? Dress. Dress. Okay, this is a skirt. What's next? It's, uh, cage. Okay, cage. Very good. What else, Uyan? Glass. Glass. Plant. Plate. You say plate. Plate. Very good. Cloud. Cloud. Great. Plant. That's correct. Arm. Absolutely arm. And what's the last picture? This is this. What is this, Wien? It's a sail. Okay, this is a lake. So now, Uyen, I want you to find words that sound the same with these words here. Okay, example. We have here, um, sail. That is whale, sail and whale. What else, Uyen? Mm -hmm. You can circle that one. You can circle all the words or line, the words that you can found here in this circle. What else, Uyen? Or any words that you can see in the circle. Okay. Grass. Grass. Uh -huh. Grass. Glass. Very good. Eight. Okay, eight, lake, very good, Uyen. What else? Well. Loud and cloud. Great job. Form and arm. Very good, Wien. Hurt and skirt. Very good.
Okay, dry fly, very good. Skirt hurt, great job. Cage age, great. Glass grass, okay. Plate eight, cloud loud. What about plant? What word? Okay, very good. Plant aunt. Arm farm and lake. Okay, and break. So for this one, Uyen, you got um, 17 out of 20. Only three mistakes, fly, skirt, and lake. Yeah, that's it. So now, Uyen, let's proceed with the mover step. You should try and answer all the questions in the listening and in the reading and writing. Even if you answer our guesses, you make guess correctly and get an extra mark. So for this one, Uyen, I want you to listen and tick the box. There's one example. Wait a minute. Okay. 50B. Well done. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. Example. Which is Daisy? Daisy did a listening test yesterday. Which of your friends is she? The one who goes sailing? No, Uncle Tom. She doesn't do that because she can't swim. But she likes whales. She's always reading about them. Well, that's great. One. What does Kim need? Have you got everything you need for your English test today, Kim? I've got my pencils, but I can't find my new pair of glasses, and I need them. They're in the kitchen. Your new school skirt looks very nice, Kim. Thanks, Mom. I really like it. Two. Where is Tony now? Where's Tony? Did he do all the work he needed to do for his spelling test? Yes, Dad. He's not in his room now. He's listening to some music in the living room. And he's eating chocolate cake. Did he put it on a plate? Yes. Don't worry. He got one from the kitchen. Three. What is on Ben's computer screen? What are you looking at on your computer, Ben? I'm learning about different plants. It's for a test at school on Friday. Oh, OK. And the story you have to write about working on a farm? I'm not doing that now, Mum. I can do it after my football game on Saturday. 4. What did Pat do in his test? My friend Pat had a music test in his lunch break today. He can play the guitar really well. That's good. And he's very good at singing, I think. Yes, but... He had to play the piano in his test today. Oh, so he can do that too. Great. Five. What does Jim want to do now? Hi, Grandpa. My test wasn't difficult. It was easy. I got eight out of ten. <laughs> well done, Jim. Are you thirsty? Would you like some milk? Not now, thanks. I'd like to sit and watch a film, I think. I don't want to do any more writing. <laughs> OK, good idea.
Okay, so let's check your answer, Uyen. We have here what does Kim need? Letter C. Where is Tony now? Letter A. What is on Ben's computer screen? Letter B. What did Pat do in his test? Letter A. What does Jim want to do now? Letter B. So for this one, you got three out of five here. So now, Uyen, let's proceed with the next slide, okay? Let's review the alphabet. Can Do you know the alphabet, Uyen? Yes. Okay, so can you please review the alphabet? I mean, tell me all the letters in the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, Z. Okay, very good, Uyen. So those are the letters in alphabet. So now, I want you to spell the words. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. I will just cover this one. I want you... OMG. Let me... Oops. Here. Uh, wait a minute, Uyen. Ah, okay. So we are going to have a spelling quiz. Okay. So here, let's spell the words. Uh, okay. So here, Uyen, I want you to spell the word um, photograph. Spell, spell the word photograph. P P P H O T O G R A B. P H. Okay, now let's spell the word January. J A N U A R Y. Okay, very good. Next, spell the word browser. What? What? Browser. Spell the word browser. B R. B R O W N S E R. Okay, great job, Uyen. So now, let's proceed with this one. Let's try to find out what words start with, okay, A not before, B not ugly. I don't know how to, how to do this one. Okay, so A, not before. I want you to try to find out what words start with A. Apple. Apple, how about B, that is not ugly. That means not ugly. Okay, so here, not before Uyen, this is after. How about B? That means not ugly. That is? Boom. That's beautiful. How about letter C? Not straight. What curly. do you call curly? Very good, Uyan. Letter D, not clean. Dirty. Dirty, great job. E, not boring. 
Exciting. Okay, exciting. F, a place with trees. Forest. 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 Great. G, that means not terrible. Uh, G, that means terrible. I don't know. Uh, not terrible. This is good. Yeah. Okay, H, not cold. Hot. Very good. I, not outside. Inside. Very good. J, another place with trees. Jungle. Jungle. Very good. K, a room in a house. Kitchen. Kitchen, great job. Okay, so here I not first. L, 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 L. Mm. L not first. No, I don't know. Okay, this is last. M, you climbed this. You climbed this. Mm. Mountain. Okay. And not good. Not good. I don't know. Okay, not good. This is naughty. Oh, yeah. not closed. Yeah, closed. Open. Open. Very good. P, play here. Mm. Play well. Playground. Q, not loud. Quiet. Quiet. R, not square. Round. Round. S not weak. It's not weak. I don't know. This is seconds. T not bottom. Bottom. Top. Very good. You not downstairs. Upstairs. Great job, Uyen. V smaller than a town. Village. Village. Very good. W not better. Not better. I don't know. Maybe I think this is better. Well, why not today? <laughs> Yesterday. Very good. Lastly, you see animals here. It's, it's, a, zoo. it's a zoo. Very good. Oh, yeah. Great job because you got a lot of, of, a lot of, what's that? A lot of correct answer here. So now let's try to find out the words. This is a places with water. So what is this, Uyen? A lake. Lake. Very good. Places in a town. Places in a town. What is that? A village. Village. Things you can see in the countryside. Things you can see in the countryside, Uyen. Mm. It's a okay, it's trees. Oh. Yeah, trees. Then here, Uyen, I want you to look at the picture 
and tell the story. It's about treasure under the waves. Can you please tell the story now, Uyen? Give me five minutes. Okay, Uyen, sure.
when they then see a beautiful box, then think it's a treasure. Then swim up and point, and then people hold the treasure on the sand, and they very excited. But they open the box. They is very surprised because in the box have the treasures. The shell is in the box. Okay, very good, Uyen. Wow. So we are done with Unit 50. So now, Uyen, it's already 6.33. So you still have 45. No, 50 minus 33. You still have 17 minutes to finish this test. Okay. So here, this is Movers Test 7.1. So for the listening, Uyen, I want you to listen and draw lines. There's one example here. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a photo of my class, Grandma. We're making a story about a pirate ship. Where are you, Paul? There, look. I'm pointing to a whale in the sea. A whale? It's only a paper one, Grandma. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. What, Uyen? No. Ah, okay. One. My classmates loved being pirates. Is your friend Jim in the photo? Yes, he's cleaning the floor. Has he got a mustache? That's right. Two. Was it difficult to carry that big square box? Yes, Daisy did that and she's not very strong. I like her black boots. Yes, they're great. Three. Why have those children got a map? In our story, the pirates are looking for an island and they can't find it. That's exciting. Who's the boy in the hat? That's Fred. He loved being a pirate. Four. Is that girl looking for the island too? The one who's climbing the net? Yes. That's Sally. She's good at climbing and she was very careful. That's good. Five. What's that girl doing? The one with the parrot on her shoulder? Yes. That's Vicky. She's putting a message in a bottle. She wants someone to come and help us. Did anyone come? Yes, our teacher. But we had to stop for lunch. <laughs> now listen to part one again. One. My classmates loved being pirates. Is your friend Jim in the photo? Yes, he's cleaning the floor. Has he got a mustache? That's right. Two. Was it difficult to carry that big square box? Yes, Daisy did that and she's not very strong. I like her black boots. Yes, they're great. Three. Why have those children got a map? In our story, the pirates are looking for an island and they can't find it. That's exciting. Who's the boy in the hat? That's Fred. He loved being a pirate. Four. 
Is that girl looking for the island too? The one who's climbing the net? Yes. That's Sally. She's good at climbing, and she was very careful. That's good. Five. What's that girl doing? The one with the parrot on her shoulder. Yes. That's Vicky. She's putting a message in a bottle. She wants someone to come and help us. Did anyone come? Yes, our teacher. But we had to stop for lunch. <laughs> that is the end of part one. Okay, so very good, Uyen. So let's proceed with task two. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. What's the name of your new school, Bill? It's Rainbow School, Uncle Jack. Rainbow School. And do you like it? Yes, it's cool. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's the name of your teacher? It's Miss Glass. Miss Glass. Is she good? She's great. Two. Look, this is my homework. I have to write about an animal. Can you choose the animal? Yes. The teacher gave us 27 animals and we had to choose our favourites. 27? That's a lot. I know. Three. What animal did you choose? Well, I wanted to write about a sea animal. What? A shark? No. My favourite animal is a dolphin. I chose that. Yes, dolphins are very clever. Four. Have you got to read about your animal first? Yes. Look, I found this book in the library. What's it called? Ocean Home. Ocean. How do you spell that? O C E A N. Good. Five. Have you got to do this homework tonight? No. We have to give it to the teacher on Friday. No, sorry. I meant Monday. Monday. So, are you busy tonight? No. Why? Shall we go out for a pizza? Yes, please, Uncle Jack. Okay. So, we will proceed now directly, Uyen. Oh, wait a minute. I can listen again. Ah, sure. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. What's the name of your new school, Bill? It's Rainbow School, Uncle Jack. Rainbow School. And do you like it? Yes, it's cool. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. What's the name of your teacher? It's Miss Glass. Miss Glass. Is she good? She's great. Two. Look, this is my homework. 
I have to write about an animal. Can you choose the animal? Yes. The teacher gave us 27 animals and we had to choose our favourites. 27? That's a lot. I know. Three. Okay. What animal? Great job, Uyen. So now, let's proceed with our reading and writing, Uyen. I want you to circle your answer. Okay. So here, what did you do on your birthday? A. Okay, what did you do on your birthday? No, no, no. Okay. What birthday presents did you get? Okay, number three. I'm sorry here. My grandparents gave me some ice skates. Okay, where did you go to eat yesterday? Okay, did you have a birthday cake? Was it a good birthday? Okay, great job. So now, Uyen, I want you to read the story and choose the right words. Okay, another bears. Okay. So now let's proceed with our speaking, Uyen. So look at the pictures and describe several differences. First, circle the differences and tell me about it. In picture one, the dolphin is strong. But in picture two, the whales in picture one, the sunny is small, but in picture two, the sunny 
is big. In the show one, there is three birds flying. Birds in this show. So there are five birds just flying. Or flying. Are you done, Ian? Mm. In picture one, the window is round. But in picture two, the window is square. In picture one, the mountain has a waterfall, but in picture two, the mountain has a waterfall. Okay. Very good, Uyen. So now, let's proceed with this one. I want you to look at the pictures and you tell the story. So this is... I'm sorry, what happened to this one? Okay, who? Wait a minute. Okay, so here, this is Fred and his grandfather. They are in their car. They want to go for a walk in the city. So, the grandpa said, don't worry, I've got a map. So here, I want you to continue the story.
friend outside the car and friend make a photo. Grandpa forget the map. Fred gives his a map in his smartphone. Okay, great job, Wien. So that's the end of our regular test. Okay, so do you have any question before we end, Wien? No. Yeah, you're so fast. Thank you for joining our class, Uyen. I hope to see you next week. Goodbye, Uyen. Goodbye. Yes. Good night. Good night.